بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah who is the most merciful and beneficial God assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Aisha Tariq and my ID is 2201323104 my department is BS biotechnology batch 13 today we are going to discuss the topic oak which is a tree it includes introduction, entomology, scientific classification, subgenera plus sections, leaves of oak, rings, trunk, fossils, durability and strength, chemical composition of oak and distribution worldwide, culture, toxicity, cabinetry and joinery, its role in wine and spirits, how oak is related to chemistry, its uses and applications species sustainability and carbon footprinting so let's start with the introduction that what is oak an oak is a hardwood tree or shrub in the genus quercus of the beech family they have spirally arranged leaves often with lobed edges and a net called acorn born in a cup the genus is widely distributed in the northern hemisphere. It includes some 500 species, both deciduous and evergreen. Here is a picture of oak tree. Next is entomology. The generic name Quercus is Latin for oak, derived from Proto Indo European Querco, which means oak, which is also the origin of the name FIR and other important or sacred tree in Indo-European culture. The word cock for the bark of the cock oak similarly derives from Quercus. The common name oak is from Old English AC, seen in placement such as acton from, from AC plus TU and oak village which in turn is from proto germanic x which is oak here is the scientific classification of oak it is belong to the kingdom planty and its clade is tracheophytes angiosperms eudocotes rosettes fagels it belong to the family phagaceae and the genus quercus l here is the subgenera and section of the oak tree. Let's move to the forward slide, which is oak leaves. Here we discuss that how it looks and what it do. Oak leaves are well known for their distinctive shapes and are primarily found on a oak tree, which are part of the Quercus genus, according to the Morton Abotum. Oak leaves typically have lobes and that can vary in number and shapes depending on the oak species. Common oak leaf shapes include sinuous, which is wavy, pineapplefied, deeply lobed, and entire smooth edged. Oak leaves are typically deciduous, which meaning that they shed their leaves in the fall or winters. However, some oak species such as the pin oak retain their own brown leaves throughout the winter until new growth emerge in the spring. The size of oak leaves varies among species. They can range from a few centimeters long to more than 30 centimeters depending on the oak tree variety. Oak leaves are usually dark green in color during the growing season but they may turn yellow brown or reddish brown in autumn before falling off the tree oak leaves play an essential role in the ecosystem they provide shelter and food for various animals which includes insects birds and mammals fallen oak leaves decompose slowly and contribute to nutrient rich soils Oak leaves themselves may not have many practical uses, but they have some cultural and symbolic significance. Here is the pictures of oak leaves. Next, applications. Heraldry. Oak leaves are commonly used as a symbol in heraldry, representing strength, 
endurance, resilience, they are often depicted as part of coats of arms, crests, and other heraldic device. Decorative purpose Oak leaves can be used for decorative purpose such as in floral arrangements or wreaths. They can also be pressed and preserved as a natural art form because they look very good. Third point is traditional medicine. Some culture have used oak leaves for medical purposes such as to treat respiratory elements or as a diuretic. However, the safety and efficacy of the remedies have not been scientifically proven, but the people believe that oak leaf is very helpful. Next fourth point is cultural heritage. Oak leaves are often associated with cultural heritage and tradition representing the strength and resilience of communities and families over time. They can be used in traditional crafts such as weaving and basketry or as part of cultural ceremonies and rituals. Our fifth point is environmental education. Oak leaves can be used in environmental education to teach children about the natural world and the importance of tree in our ecosystem. They can also be used to teach about the life cycle of trees and the role of deciduous tree in seasonal changes. The cultural and symbolic values of oak leaves make them an important part of many communities around the world. Next over topic is oak trunk. Oak wood is known for its strength, durability and resistance to decay as we discussed before. The trunks typically have a straight grain which make them suitable for various woodworking application. In terms of color, oak trunks can vary ranging from light yellow brown to a rich deep brown. This variation in a color contributes to the unique beauty of oak wood and makes it a popular choice for furnitures and floorings. Oak trunks also have a high density making them heavy and strong. These characteristics enhance the stability and longevity of items made from oak and wood. The high density of oak makes it less susceptible to weaping or twisting compared to other types of woods. Here is a picture of oak trunk. Next, we are going to discuss the oak rings. Oak tree rings. Oak trees, like many other tree species, have the ability to form annual growth rings. These rings are visible when a tree is cut or a core sample is taken. According to a study published in the journal, Dendrochronologia analyzing these rings can provide valuable information about the tree's age, growth pattern, and environmental condition during its lifetime. Each ring in an oak tree represents one year of growth. During the spring and summer, when conditions are favorable, the tree produces larger, lighter colored cell known as early wood. This part of the ring grows quickly and contributes to the tree's rapid growth during the warmer seasons. In contrast, the late wood, which forms during the autumn and winter months, consists of smaller, darker cells. This portion of the ring grows more slowly and is denser than the early wood. The transition from early wood to late wood creates a distinct brown boundary within each tree ring which is often visible to the naked eye. The width of each ring can vary based on a variety of factors. It may be include climate, soil conditions and the tree's overall health. In years with ideal growth conditions, the rings may be wider, indicating a period of rapid growth. Conversely, narrower rings may suggest that the tree experienced stress or unfavorable environmental conditions during that year. Dendrochronologists, scientists who study tree rings, 
can use these pattern to create chronologies or tree ring calendars for a particular regions by comparing patterns in the ring of living trees with those in samples from archaeological or historical sites they can date the age of wooden artifacts accurately reconstruct past climate patterns and gain insights into historical events the analysis of oak tree ring provide valuable information about the growth patterns and environmental history of these significant trees fossil oaks what is fossils fossil oaks are usually identified by means of leaves and pollen grains and less commonly by wood fruits and flowers systematic working with extant plants can study hundred of herbarium specimens and sample populations they can circumscribe both parent species and the morphological intermediates among them that form a hybrid complex and use morphometrics to establish the boundaries of the species within the complex to create hypotheses that can be tested with molecular studies however this is not possible in the fossils record the fossil wood record is usually defined to genus but some wood anatomical features can delimit intrageneric types were able to group 30 species of extant temperate oaks from north america into three woods type the live oaks the white oaks both of section quercus and the red oaks of section lobetae wood of the live oaks in diffuse porous or semi ring porous and difficult to distinguish from that of the phagaceous genus the red and white oak types are ring porous but can be separated on the basis of vessels and ray features next we are going to discuss about the durability and strength of oak oak is renowned for its durability and strengths making it a popular choice for various application here are key points regarding the durability and strength of oaks hardness oak is a hardwood and its hardness varies between species like white oak for example is generally harder than red oak this hardness contribute to its ability to withstand wear and resist denting making it suitable for flooring and furniture next point is wear resistance oak's durability is evident in its resistance to wear and tear this make it is preferred material for specific terrific areas such as flooring in homes and commercial spaces resistance to decay oak has natural resistance to decay and insect infestations this resistance is due to certain compounds in the wood making oak suitable for outdoor application like fencing and landscaping next is stability oak exhibits good dimensional stability meaning it is less prone to shrinking warping and swelling with changes in moisture and temperature this stability contributes to its reliability in various application including construction load bearing capacity oak strengths and load bearing capacity make it suitable for structural application in constructions it can be used for beams posts and other elements requiring high strengths furniture construction oak strengths and workability make it a preferred choice for crafting durable and sturdy furnitures it can withstand the weight and stress typically placed on furniture items longevity properly maintain oak products have a reputation and longevity this make oaks a cost effective choice in the long run 
as it tend to have a longer lifespan compared to some other materials. Ability to take finishes Oak can be easily stained, finished or painted. This not only enhances its aesthetic appeal but also provides an additional layer of protection contributing to its overall durability. Oak's, durab uh, Oak's durability and strength stems from its inherent hardness, resistance to wear and decay, stability and load-bearing capacity. These qualities make oak a versatile and reliable, reliable material in various industries including construction, furniture making and flooring. Next, what is the chemical composition of oak? The chemical composition of oak includes cellulose. What is cellulose? A complex carbohydrate providing strength, lignin contributing to cell wall rigidity. Extractives responsible for color and aroma. Tannins found in some species influencing flavors. Understanding these components in crucial in various industrial processes involving oak. Oak's distribution in the world wide. On the America continent, species of the genus Quercus occur in Canada, the USA, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia. The distribution of Quercus in the Americas, the greatest species diversity for the genus Quercus in the New World occur in the mountain of southern Mexico and other center of diversity occur in the southeastern United States but not particularly associated with the Appalachian Mountains. The Rocky Mountain region is depubrate in oak species as is the Pacific Northwest. However, some widespread lowland species such as Q insignis produce mature fruits in July, June in the southern parts of their ranges in Central America and produce mature fruits in October in the northernmost population, e.g. near Jalapa. We do not yet have sufficient data to determine if this is a gradual clinical shift in phenology from north to south or if climatic factors are correlated with the difference. Overall, lowland oak distributions indicate increased diversity and dominance in the more seasonally dry forests of Mexico and on the Pacific slope of the Central America. Oaks are also dominant in the seasonally dry and cooler forest of Montan, Mexico, which might be classified as subtropical or mild temperate seasonal forest. Again, in these forests, the phenology of most oak species is suggestive of the phenology of the northern counterparts, with flowering generally occurring in the spring, January, and April and mature fruits falling in the fall, September to November, with a peak in October. Here is a graph of the oak tree. Now we are going to discuss about the culture of oak tree. The oak tree is not officially recognized as a national tree in any country. While many countries have their own national symbols, including trees, the designation of the national tree is not an internationally recognized concept. Some countries such as Germany, Poland have chosen the oak tree as a symbol of their culture and heritage. But it is not officially recognized as a national tree by their respective governments. The decision to design it a national tree is ultimately a matter of cultural and political choices and may vary from country to country. Its toxicity. Poison ivy, why poison oak and poison 
सो मैक रिमाइंड मोस्ट पीपल ऑफ पेनफुल एक्सपीरियंस टू बी अवॉइडेड येट मैनी डू नॉट नो एनी वन ऑफ द ऑफेंडिंग प्लांट्स और देयर इक्वली पॉइजनस रिलेटिव लर्निंग टू रिकगनाइज दैम ऑन साइट इज़ रिलेटिवली ईजी स्पेशली बाई एग्जामिनिंग द डिस्टिंगटिव आइडेंटिफाइंग करेक्टरिस्टिक्स डी डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द पिक्चर्स एंड लेजेंड्स ऑफ द बुलेटिन देर इज दैन अ गुड चांस टू अवॉइज अवॉइड दैम एंड लेजेंड्स ऑफ द बुलेटिन देर इज दैन अ गुड चांस टू अवॉइड दैम और इफ वन मस्ट वर्क अमोंग दैम टू टेक preservative measurement to escape poisoning these plants are very common throughout the united states they are found in fields and woods along fence row rock walls and hedges in lawns and in gardens and even sometime winding on house usually in any one locality it is necessary to be certain of the identity of only two or three of them maps show at a glance where they are likely to be found frequent preservation observation and recognition of these plants as they are encountered almost daily in the best to become poison oak or poison ivy conscious non poisonous Siomax are easily distinguished from the poisonous species by the seed heads and leaves the old proverb an ounce of pre- uh, prevention is worth a pound of cure is good advice to everyone particularly as regards ivy poisoning the old proverb an ounce of preven- uh, prevention is worth a pound of cure is good advice to everyone particularly regards ivy poisoning previous escape is not proof of immunity when conditions are right and after poisoning occurs there is no quick cure known some relief may be obtained and recovery hastened by use of some of the tested remedies in case of swear poisoning a physician should be consulted poison ivy and other poisonous plants growing in grounds frequented by people should be eradicated in some places this can be done by careful grubbing in other weed killing chemicals may be better and more certainly would avert poisoning for most of us next cabinetry and joinery oak play a vital role in cabinetry and joinery primarily due to its exceptional combination of strength durability and workability the inherent robustness of oak ensures that structure crafted from it such a as cabinets and joinery pieces stand the test of time its ease of work allows to intricate designs and precise joinery techniques contributing to the creation of aesthetically pleasing and finally detailed pieces the distinct grain patterns and rich colors of oak add a timeless and visually appealing quality to cabinetry and joinery furthermore oak's adaptability to various finishes provide opportunities for customization enabling these pieces to align with diverse design preferences oak's good dimensional stability prevents warping over time ensuring the longevity of the structure its versatility allows for application in a wide range of setting from te- uh, traditional to modern designs Oak natural resistance to decay is particularly advantageous in environments prone to moisture such as kitchens and bathrooms further enhancing its role in creating durable and visually appealing cabinetry and joinery Here are some application Here are some practical uses of oak trees timber Oak trees are a valuable source of timber which is used to make a variety of products including furniture flooring 
barrels for aging wine and spirits the strength and durability of oak wood make it a popular choice for construction and carpentry as well acorns oak tree produce acorns which are a rich source of protein and fat for many wildlife species which includes animals insects and mammals in some cultures acorn have also been used as a food source for human although they must be processed to remove tannins that make them bitter and indigestible fuel wood oak trees can be burned as fuel wood providing a renewable source of energy that is also carbon neutral over the tree's lifetime next point is medi- medical properties some parts of oak trees such as the bark and leaf have been used in traditional medicine to treat a variety of ailments including diarrhea fever and inflammation cultural significance oak trees have cultural significance in many societies around the world and are often associated with strength resilience and longevity they are featured pro- prominently in literature art and folklore and are sometimes planted as a memory or symbol of commu- community pride next point is landscaping oak trees are popular choices for landscaping due to their beauty and durability they can provide shape privacy and a natural aesthetic to yards and public spaces wildlife habitat oak trees provide habitat for a wide variety of wildlife including birds squirrels and insects they can also serve as nesting sites for birds and other animals carbon sequestrations oak trees are carbon neutral over their lifetime meaning they absorb as much carbon dioxide as they release during their growth this make them an important part of the carbon cycle and help to mitigate climate change recreation oak trees can provide opportunities for recreation such as hiking picnicking and bird watching they can also serve as landmarks or natural symbols in parks and other public spaces <clears throat> Next we are going to discuss about the role of oak in wine and spirits. Oak play a crucial role in wine and spirit industry, particularly in the aging process. Here are some key points outlining its role. Barrel aging. Oak barrels are commonly used for aging wines and spirits as we discussed before. The porous nature of oak allows for the exchange of compound between the wood and the beverages influencing its flavor aroma and color flavor enhancement oak imparts various compounds to the wine or spirits such as vanillin lactones and tannins these compounds contribute to the complexity and richness of flavor adding desirable characteristics to the final products tannin influence tannins from oak barrels can contribute structure and astringency to wines this influence is particularly noticeable in red wines where tannins play a role in mouthfeel and aging potentials aroma development Oak aging contribute to the development of specific aromas including notes of vanilla, caramel, spice. These aromas enhance the overall sensory experience of the beverages. Microoxygenation. The permeability of oak leaves allow a controlled amount of oxygen to enter the barrel. This microoxygenation process influence the wine or spirit helping with color stabilization and softening tannins color stability oak aging can positively impact the color stability of red wines contributing to vibrant and long lasting hues
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज टेक्स्चर इम्प्रूवमेंट ओक बैरल्स कंट्रीब्यूट टू द माउथ फील एंड टेक्स्चर ऑफ वाइन्स प्रोवाइडिंग अ स्मूथर एंड मोर राउंडिंग सेंसेशन ऑफ द पैलेट मेच्योरेशन एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ओक एजिंग अलो फॉर अ ग्रेजुअल मेच्योरेशन ऑफ वाइन्स एंड स्पिरिट्स प्रोमोटिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड डेप्थ ओवर टाइम कस्टमाइजेशन वाइन मेकरस एंड डिस्टिलर्स कैन चूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ओक ई जी देर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ओक अमेरिकन ओक फ्रेंच ओक एंड लीव्स ऑफ टोस्टिंग टू कस्टमाइज द फ्लेवर प्रोफाइल ऑफ देयर बेवरेजेस हेयर आर द टाइप्स ऑफ ओक ट्रीज देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ओक ट्रीज एंड देर आर मैनी बट फ्यू आर डिस्क्राइब्ड हेयर Quercus alba, which is also known as white oak, Quercus rubra, which is also known as the red oak, Quercus palustris, which is known as pin oak, Quercus cerris, Turkey, Turkey oak, Quercus patria, Sicil oak, Quercus rubber, English oak, Quercus ilex, home oak, Quercus agrifolia, coast live oak. Next point, we are going to discuss the few species which are more majorly important: Quercus alba, red oak, white oak, pin oak. So let's start with white oak. Leaf characteristics: the leaf of white oak are distinctive with rounded lobes and a smooth margin. They are a deep green. color during their growing seasons transforming into shades of red or brown in the fall contributing to the autumn landscape bark white oak is characterized by light gray to silvery white bark when young gradually developing into a more rugged structure with ridges and furrows as the tree matured this bark is an identifying features of the species next acorn white oak produces large acorns with a sweet taste these acorns mature in one season providing a valuable food source for various wildlife including deer and small mammals habitat native to eastern northern america white oak is adaptable to a variety of habitats it is commonly found in mixed hardwood forests and can tolerate well drained soils wood quality the wood of white oak is highly valued for its strength durability and attractive grain pattern it is extensively used in furnitures making flooring and constructions of barrels for aging wine and whiskey wildlife support the tree play a crucial role in supporting wildlife by providing food in the form of acorn and creating habitats the large sweet acorn make it an important resource for various animal species lifespan white oak is known for its longevity and can live for several centuries under favorable conditions making it a significant part of forest ecosystem historical and cultural significance white oak holds a cultural importance and has historical significance native america communities used its wood for various purposes and it remains a symbol of strength and endurance disease resistance while susceptible to certain diseases and pests white oak generally exhibit good resistance contributing to its overall health and longevity here are a structure of white oak next application of white oak in our daily life white oak is widely used in our daily life for various purposes its versatility and desirable wood properties make it valuable for different applications here are some common use basically as i dis- uh, i explained before that it is used in furnitures white oak is 
a preferred wood for furniture making. Its durability, strength and attractive grain make it suitable for crafting high quality furniture pieces. Flooring The wood of white oak is often used for flooring due to its hardness and resistance to wear. It adds a classic and enduring touch to home and commercial spaces. It is also used in barrels, constructions, cabinetries. White oak is a popular choice for crafting barrels, especially those used in the aging process of wine and whiskey. The wood imparts desirable flavors to the beverages during the maturation process. Construction The strength and resilience of white oak make it suitable for various construction purposes, including beams, posts and outdoor structures cabinetry the wood is used in cabinetry for kitchens bathrooms and other areas due to its aesthetic appeal and durability tool handle white oak's toughness make it suitable for tool handles providing a sturdy and reliable grip for various hand tools interior wood work trim moldings and other interior Woodwork often feature white oak due to its beautiful appearance and ability to take finishes well. Landscaping While not as commonly used as some ornamental trees, white oak is occasionally used in landscaping for its grand appearance, especially in larger yards and parks. Next, Quercus rubra commonly known as red oak, is a prominent tree species with several distinctive features and ecological roles. Leaf Characteristics The leaves are characterized by pointed lobes with bristol tips. They have a dark green color during the growing season, creating a vibrant display when they turn red in the fall. Bark the bark of red oak is dark gray to blackish and is marked by deep furrows and scaly ridges. This bark pattern contributes to its distinct appearance. Acorns Red oak produces large acorns that are bitter to the taste. Unlike some other oak species, red oak acorns take two years to mature, adding to its reproductive cycle. Habitat Native to North America, red oak thrives in a range of soil types and is commonly found in mixed hardwood forests. It plays a crucial role in maintaining ecosystem diversity. Wood The wood of red oak is strong, durable, and resistant to decay. It is commonly used in construction, furniture, and flooring, making it economically valuable wild su life support red oak serves as a vital resource for wildlife providing food for various animals such as deers and small mammals its acorns are important part of the diet for many species contributing to the overall biodiversity of its habitat next what is the lifespan of red oak under favorable conditions, red oak can live for several centuries, making it a long-lived and resilient species within forest ecosystem. Here is the picture of red oak tree, that how it looks. Next point is pin oak. Its common name is pin oak. Scientific name is Quercus palustris. What is its characteristics? Leaf Characteristics The leaves of pin oak are deeply lobed with bristle tipped tips. They turn a vibrant red or bronze in the fall, creating a visually striking autumn display. Its bark The bark is dark and furrowed, becoming more pronounced as the tree matures. Acorn Pin oak produces small acorn that take two years to mature. While they are not typically a major food source for wildlife, due to its bitterness, they contribute to the tree's reproductive cycle. Habitat Native to North America, 
pin oak is often found in lowland areas and moist soils although it can adapt to a range of conditions it's commonly seen in urban landscapes and parks wood while not as commercially valuable as some other oak species pin oak wood is used for lumber and fuels urban landscaping pin oak is frequently planted in urban areas for its aesthetic appeal and adaptability it is valued for its ornamental qualities especially in landscaping along streets and in parks wildlife while the acorns are not a primarily food source for wildlife the trees itself provide habitat for birds and small mammals like squirrels and other birds lifespan pin oak has a relatively long lifespan and can live for several decade here is the picture of pin oak next how oak is related to chemistry oak is basically related to chemistry in many ways cellulose composition the primarily chemical component of wood including oak is cellulose cellulose is a complex carbohydrate made up of glucose units linked together Understanding the chemistry of cellulose is essential in process such as pulping and paper making. Lignin content. Oak like other woods contain lignin, a complex polymer that provides rigidity to plant cell walls. Lignin's chemistry is crucial in various industrial processes including the pulping and bioenergy industries. Next point is extractive and tannins. Oak wood contains extractive compounds and tannins. These compounds contribute to the wood's color, aroma, and in the case of tannins, its ability to attract, interact with proteins. Tannins from oak, for example, play a role in the flavor profile of wines and spirits during aging in barrels. Next point is chemical treatments. In industrial application, oak wood may undergo chemical treatment for pre preservation or modification of its properties this can include treatments to enhance resistance to decay insects attack or changes in color and texture adhesive and finishes chemistry play a role in the adhesive and finishes used on oak product the adhesives used in furniture making for example involve chemical processes finishes such as varnish or stains are also product of chemical formulation chemical analysis chemistry is employed in the laboratory analysis of oak wood techniques such as chromatography spectroscopy are used to identify and quantify the various chemical components present in oak providing the insight into its properties and potential applications sustainability since a sustainability consider, uh, consideration for oak involve examining the environmental impact of oak harvesting and usage as well as ensuring responsible forestry practices here are detailed breakdown forests management Sustainable oak harvesting involves responsible forest management practices. This include selective logging where only mature trees are harvested, allowing the forest to regenerate naturally. Sustainable forestry certification programs such as those provided by organizations like the forest stewardship councils help ensure that oak product come from responsibly manage forests regeneration and reforestation sustainable practices emphasizes the importance of reforestation and replanting of oak trees ensuring a balance between harvesting and replanting help maintain healthy and resilient oak ecosystem biodiversity conservation sustainable oak forestry considered consider the impact on biodiversity 
preserving diverse ecosystem within oak forest is crucial for the health of the environment this involves protecting plants and animal species that coexist with oak trees next is carbon sequestration oak forests play a role in carbon sequestration helping mitigate climate changes by absorbing and storing carbon dioxide Sustainable practices aim to maintain and enhance the carbon sequestration capacity of oak forest, reducing environmental impact. Sustainability involves minimizing the environmental impact of the entire oak production processes. This includes transportation, processing, and waste management. Efforts to reduce energy consumption and use eco-friendly technologies contribute to a more sustainable life cycle for oak products next community and social impact sustainable forestry practices consider the social and economic well-being of communities that depend on oak forests this include fair labor practices community engagements and ensuring that local communities benefit from the responsible management of oak resources certification labels look for oak products with certification labels such as fsc which indicates that the wood come from responsibly managed forests these labels provide consumers which with assurance that the product meets specific environmental and st social standards illegal logging prevention one of the challenge in oak sustainability is the threat of illegal logging sustainable practices involve measures to prevent and combat illegal logging ensuring that oak products are sourced legally and ethically by integrating this sustainability consideration into oak forestry and production it is possible to enjoy the benefits of oak products while preserving and even enhancing the health of oak ecosystem and the broader environment and the last point it is what is the carbon footprinting of oak here are some key points sustainable forestry practices replanting and responsible harvesting help maintain a balance in carbon absorption and release minimizing environmental impact during logging contributes to sustainability durability and longevity oaks durability means product have a longer lifespan longevity reduce the need for frequent replacement lowering overall environmental impact Local sourcing. Locally sourced oak re uh, reduces transportation related emissions. Choosing regional suppliers support a more sustainable supply chain. Efficient processing. Using energy efficient processing method reduces the carbon footprints of manufacturing. Incorporating renewable energy sources further enhance environmental friendliness. Next point is low environmental impact in use oaks used in reconstruction and furniture often involve minimal environmental impact during its lifespan recyclability oaks can be recycled or repurposed offering options for sustainable disposal thank you very much this is all from my side i hope you get it thank you very much